Hello, this is Soren DLS coming to you with a brand new video. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to talk about a few current events that are going on with Pokemon Go. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is, well, a Halloween event. It's still going on. It's actually going to keep going on until November 2nd. All right, and with that, of course, we're getting Gen 3 ghosts, so we've got about five different ghosts you can catch out in a while or evolve and whatnot. And of course, we still have Double Candy, we still have the cell boxes, which is giving out raid passes, incubators, so the super incubators, by the way, and some other things like Lucky Eggs and Incense, which have been kind of nice, kind of nice. That is not too bad of a sales box. It's kind of very customizable, depending on if you want to just go out and just rate more which will get the small one or if you really want to get those super incubators you can go ahead and get the big one or i believe it's the great box then that that's been that's been a really really good sale to go on as well and of course seeing as it's a halloween event we're getting double candy so there's a lot of people who haven't completed their pokedex just because they're missing some candy for evolutions or anything like that and that's kind of helped them out as well so one of the most interesting things that came out with this Halloween event is shiny ghost Pokemon. So there's been a couple shiny ghost Pokemon that's come out, like shiny Sableye, which by the way, I actually managed to get myself a shiny Sableye. So that was definitely, definitely, definitely a huge catch for me. And there's also shiny Duskull as well, which you can get a shiny Dusclops as well. Uh, still searching for that, but but there is still time to get a shiny go. So if you haven't gotten one yet, remember, just like I said before, November 2nd. November 2nd is when this, when this whole event is going to end. Now, another bit of news that is actually just around the corner. Now, as I'm shooting this, it's actually almost midnight. I know I'm still awake, right? Yeah, it's about midnight right now, and that means... This is going to be the last time Entei is going to come out. So I know if you're following around the East Coast, I believe the way things worked when we switched over to Entei was in the morning you had Raikou and then around the evening time, so around like 5 or 6 or so, that's when Entei came out for us. So I'm expecting the same thing with Suicune starting tomorrow, or I guess technically today. So, with that being said, get yourselves ready for Suicune. There's not a lot of time left. If you still want to get an Entei, I believe you'll have tomorrow morning to get that, and then it will start to slowly switch up, and then you'll start to see Suicune around, actually, trick or treating time. Ooh. So, make sure that you're all set for that. Now, I made a video about some Suicune tips already. I'm actually going to leave the button at the end of this video and I'll leave a link in the description below and then of course look at the top around probably my head or something like that for a quick link to that video you definitely want to check that out that has a lot of detailed things that you want to know about Suicune but I'll give you some general stuff right now now of course the number that you want to look for to see that perfect IV is 1613 that's right 1613 will show you a perfect IV Suicune and I'll give you a few general things that you want to go up against them. Um, I mean, personally, I'm picking Executor. It's a grass type, which grass is strong against water, and it's a psychic type. And there's one move particularly that you want to watch out for, and that's Suicune having extra sensory, which is a psychic move, which is kind of odd that we have that, but meh. That means all of your Gen 1 grass types, you gotta be careful about them because, well, all Gen 1 grass types, like Venusaur, Bioplume, Victory Bell, all of them have poison type, and if it has extrasensory, which is a psychic attack, mm, it's a, they're they're gonna be a little they're gonna be in a, a little bit of a jam on that one. Alright. Other options and just going through ones, electro types. Zoltan or um, hello, we all got we all got legendaries, Zapdos and Raikou. They're going to be probably the main hitters in that as well. But that's just a couple of general tips. But check out that video; it has a lot of more, has a lot more details and a lot more different ideas that you want to use to go up against Suicune. 
All right. All right. Then one more thing, and I do have to kind of bring this up as well. Um, as other players have probably already guessed, um, it's starting to get cold. It's starting to get cold, which it means Pokemon Go, at least for the East Coast here, and things are gonna kind of slow down. But keep this in mind: around December, we should get all of Gen 3. So that means more people are gonna go out and they're gonna try to get those Gen 3, Gen 3 Pokemon and it's gonna be cold. So later on in this channel, I'm actually gonna give out a few tips on how to continue to play Go in the cold. And trust me on this, trust me people, I hate the cold. I hate it, I hate it, I hate the cold. But I love Pokemon Go, so you, you kinda have to Bite the bullet in that one. But there are ways how to continue to play Pokemon Go and survive the bitter cold. So watch out for my channel on some tips on that as well. Alright? But that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, definitely fire up a like. And if you really like this video and want to see more of my videos, especially if you want to see the video on how to survive the winter and play Go. Um, definitely hit that subscribe button. That way you can go ahead and continue to see more of my content as well. Alright? That, that's all I have for you today. So, until next time folks, later!